This is brought to you by Madat Academy. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial we will use the Proteus Professional software which we have installed in the previous tutorial. To create a new project using Proteus Professional software you can use different methods. Open the software and you can go to File, New Project or you can directly press the New Project button to create new project and Open Project button to open an existing project from specific folder. After pressing New Project give a name to your project. While writing the name of your project do not forget to include .pdsprj after the name of the project, which is Proteus File Extension Format. You can also choose the path to save you project at a specific location. Make sure you have checked New Project and press Next. Check Create Schematic button on the top and press Next. Check Do not create PCB as we will not going to design PCB layout in this specific tutorial and press Next. Check No Firmware Project and press Next. Press Finish to create the project successfully. Now we have got a working area on the Proteus software. Then click P, which will cause a list of components to pop up. But, as you can see it said no library found. This may be the first and the common issue which you might face while start working with Proteus software. Okay let's fix it. To fix this error, close the Proteus software and right click on the software then run as administrator this should work perfect. But if you want to make the fix permanent rather than opening the software as an administrator each time, right click on the software. Press Properties. Press Compatibility. And check Run this program as an administrator then apply the change. Now when opening the Proteus software any time it will run as an administrator and you will no face this error anymore. Open the Proteus software and press P. Now search for the device you want to use. There are many pre-built electronic devices which come up with the software but some devices have needs to include a library onto the Proteus library folder in order to use them. Let's connect LED light with DC voltage to see when the LED is on. We use red LED, 220 ohm resistor and 5 volt battery connected seriously and one side is grounded. When we press the run button the LED light is turned on. If you want to use Proteus with Arduino you have to include external library. We will include the Arduino library onto the software on the next tutorial. So, do not forget to check out the next tutorial. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you.